Okay, let's see how to solve this three plus three system equations. And this is also one of the questions on my test. Let's see. Shall we eliminate x or y or z? Up to you, right? If you want to eliminate x, you have to first look for the lowest common multiple of 1, 5, and 3. And that would be what? 15. And if you want to eliminate y first, you have to look for the lowest common multiple of 1, just the number, not a sign, okay? Just 1, 2, and 4. The LCM for that is going to be 4. And then the LCM 4, 4, 10, and 4, it will be 20. So as we can see, right here, the lowest common multiple of all these numbers in front of the y is just a 4, which is the smallest. Let's just eliminate y first. But it's okay if you want to eliminate x or z. Up to you. You just have to use the lowest common multiple that I mentioned earlier. And now, let's take a look. Let's make things happen. Right here, we have a negative 1. Times what will give us 4? Let me just multiply the first equation by 4, okay? So, I will take this and multiply everything by 4. And did you guys notice that we have 11, 11, 11? But that doesn't bother you, okay? We are going to make all the numbers in front of a variable. In this case, we pick y. We need to make sure all the numbers in front of the y to be 4. And then the sign have to alternate. Let me show you. This is going to give us 4 times x, which is 4x, and then 4 times negative y, that's negative 4y, and then 4 times negative 4, that's negative 16, and that's a z term, right? And don't forget to do 4 times 11, and that will give us 44, okay? And then we look at the second equation. We have a positive 2 in front of the y. 2 times 4 will give us 4. 2 times 2 will give us 4, right? And you see, earlier, we have a negative 4y. So we should keep this to be positive 4y. And I'm just going to multiply by positive 2. And we will see 2 times 5x, that's 10x. 2 times 2y, that's plus 4y. And then 2 times 10z, that's plus 20z. And then 2 times 11, it's going to give us positive 22. And let's look at this one. Well, this has a positive 4y, right? But then you see we had negative 4y, positive 4y. This right here should be a negative 4y. The numbers should be the same, but the sign have to alternate. Negative, positive, negative in our situation. With that being said, we are going to multiply the last equation by negative 1. So in another word, we're just changing the sign right here. Therefore, we will have negative 3x, and then negative 4y, and then this times that becomes positive. We add the 4z here, and this is going to give us negative 11, just like this, okay? And now we, can, we are ready to do the following. I am going to add the first two equations together, and in that case, you will see this and that will cancel out. But then I'm not going to cross it out because I need the second equation for um, the second part, okay? So let's just keep this in our head. 4x plus 10x, that's going to give us 14x. And then this and that is, you know, disappear, right? They cancel each other out, but I'm not going to cross them out. And then you see negative 16z plus 20z, that's positive 4z. And then 44 plus 22, that will give us positive 66. And then I'm going to combine the second and the third equation and then put it here. And you will see that this is going to give us 10x minus 3x, that's 7x. This and that cancel out. And then this and that is plus 24z. And this is going to give us 22 minus 11, that's going to give us 11. And at this stage here, what can we do? This is just a 2 by 2 system of equation, and we can just do elimination again, right? And I would like to just solve for, um, I would like to get rid of x, because I see 
14 and 7, the lowest common multiple of these two numbers is 14, right? It's pretty easy. You can also do it with uh, Z. It will be 24 in that case. But then in that case, I'm just going to show you this is what we are going to get. I'm going to keep the first equation to be the same. 14x plus 4z. That's equal to 66. And then for the second equation, 7 times what will give us 14? 7 times 2 will give us 14, right? But then this is the positive 14 already. Therefore, I'm going to multiply this by negative 2. So that when I do this times that, I will get negative 14x. And I will continue. Negative 2 times positive 24z. That's negative 48z. And this is going to give us negative 2 times 11. That's negative 22. And now what? You see, this is the road trip situation, right? We start from the left, the west coast, and then we go to the right, the east coast. And then we are going to go down south. And this is how. We are going to combine these two equations, and we'll write down the result right here. This and that, the 14x minus 14x cancel out. And we'll see 4z minus 48z is negative 44z, and this is going to be 66 minus 22. That's positive 44. Well, I can now divide both sides by negative 44, and be really careful with the sign. Z right here is equal to 44 over negative 44. That will give us negative 1. And now what? This is like your flying ticket. You're going to take this and then go back, right? So take this, look back right here, and then you can use one of these equations. And let me just use uh, the first one, okay? So I'm going to plug in z is equal to negative 1 into this z right here in this equation. And in that case, we'll end up 14x plus 4 right here, and the z value is negative 1. Open the parentheses, put in negative 1, and that's equal to 66. And we can just solve this real quick, isn't it? So this is 14x, and 4 times negative 1, that's negative 4, and this is equal to positive 66. I'm just going to add a 4 on both sides. Cancel, cancel, and you'll see this is 14x equals to 66 plus 4, that's 70, and then I can divide both sides by 14, so that I will get x is equal to Pass the 5, 70 over 4, right? And now, are we done? No, we are not done yet because we haven't got back home, right? So remember to take this and this as your flying ticket. I'm going to skip this one because these equations right here have been multiplied by these numbers, right? So I will take these two numbers and I will go back all the way to here, one of these equations. Let's use the first one. x is equal to 5. Let's plug in into this x right here, the one in black, because that's the original. Okay? So, once again, plugging 5 into this x, we will have 5, and then we will have minus. Do we know why? No, we don't. So, let's turn to put that down, and then minus 4, and this time the z is the number that we know, which is negative 1, right here, right? So I'll plug in negative 1 for the z value, and this is equal to this 11 here. And now we can just work this out. We have 5 minus y, negative 4 times negative 1, that's positive 4, and this is equal to 11. And then you see that 5 plus 4, this is 9, right? So let me write this down as 9 minus y is equal to 11. And then I'm going to minus 9 on both sides. Cancel, cancel, and we get negative y is equal to 11 minus 9 is positive 2 for now. But then this is not y. This is a negative y. So we have to divide both sides by negative 1. And then I will end up with positive y by itself. And this is going to be 2 over negative 1. So that's negative 2. And as you can see, we have the x, y, z. So right here, let me write down the answer. 
put on x first, which is 5, and then the y is negative 2, and then the z value is negative 1. And this right here is it. That's how you do this right here.